let's get to it. The uh, American team, Shelton, you know, Tiafo, Seb Corda, Matty Keys, all have opted out and playing in Paris. And I know yeah. that you are not surprised by this. I'm not surprised by it. Um, it's just the Olympics for the Americans. It it It's not on the same level as as the majors. I think they care about their their summer leading up to the U.S. Open a little more. And a lot of the, you know, TFO, Shelton, Corda, those three especially, they're, they're so young. They're going to get more shots at the Olympics in their career. Um, Madison Keys, I guess I'm a little surprised with that. Not, not that she's old, but I would have thought that she would uh, have played it. But, um, you know, I, I think they just want to gear up, play. They, they all love playing the summer hard court season, and that's where their priority is over the Olympics right now. Are you surprised? I mean, yeah. are you surprised that they're out? I'm a little surprised by Madison. And the only reason I'm surprised by Madison is because on clay, she plays very well. She's done well at the French Open before. So, look, a lot of this has to do with the timing, clearly, but also the surface, right? You're never going to see – Ben's never going to win a medal on clay. Francis, probably, probably not on clay. Seb Corder, also probably not on clay. If it was on hard court, I would say that they would play. Uh, actually, yep. I would say if it was on hard court, they would have all played because it's just going straight into the hard court season. I'm a little surprised by Maddie just because I think she can do really well. And she came so close to winning a bronze medal um, previously. So I know it means a lot to her. But she has represented um, the United States, you know, before in the Olympics, but as has, as has Francis. So I don't know. We don't really know officially um, the team uh, yet because we'll figure it out. But but look, Tommy Paul, these guys want to go back and play. It'll be interesting to see who ends up going. But I, I'm surprised and I'm not surprised, but a little disappointed because it meant so much to me to play. I know, and it. I hate to say this, it. I think sometimes for the tennis players, the Olympics means more to players from other countries. I don't know why. I don't have an answer for it, but it's just uh, that's just what it is. Yeah, well, Australia, we are sending yeah, astronomers. A passionate group down there in Australia. We clearly are a little bit more patriotic than you. That's all I'm going to say. I'm just kidding. I'm kidding. I'm kidding everybody out there. All right, so the update of all updates, of course, is that Rafa chose not to play Wimbledon, and we suspected this, which is why I also am surprised Novak's playing because I think Novak really wants that gold medal. But Rafa has decided no Wimbledon. All the focus is on the Olympics. You know how well he plays in Roland Garros, and he's also decided to play doubles with Carlos Alcaraz. Tell me that's not going to be the hottest ticket in tennis to have this summer. Oh, it's going to be huge. And I think for Rafa, look, he's 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 got some injuries. He's not as fast. He only has to cover 50% of a court now in that double. <laughs> so, like, he could really he could really get after it. I think we're going to see him lay it all the line. A lot of pressure on Alcaraz to, like, hey, like, carry, carry your idol here for a little bit at the Olympics. But, um, well, I hope they're, you know, I don't, I'm not overly optimistic that Rafa is going to make a run to a medal in singles, but in doubles, Rafa's fantastic. I feel like Rafa's played about 20 doubles tournaments and won like 14 of them. And yeah. So well, he's Rafa won a gold medal before. Yeah, yeah. Listen, he won a gold medal already in doubles. So he knows how to do it um, with a, with a arguably a lesser player than Alcaraz, right. but he doesn't, have, he doesn't have to run. Alcaraz covers the entire court by himself. Yes. The guy's so fast. So I cannot wait to see those guys play. Um, it will be, as I said, musty TV, and yeah. possibly depending on how Rafa plays. And I'm gonna, I'm gonna make a prediction here. I think Rafa is gonna surprise you at the Olympics. Best of three sets at Roland Garros. I think he's training his butt off right now to do well there, and it would not surprise me. And I think him losing the way he did it to Zverev in the first round, where he played very well. I think he yep. feels like that guy got to the final and I played him tough. He served for the second set. He was up a break in the third. I think he feels like he can play with these guys and hang with them over best of three on clay at Roland Garros. Don't be surprised mm -hmm. if he's playing for a medal. That's all I'm saying. I'm, I'm, I'm with you on that a little bit. And, and because right. not every player is playing, you know what I mean? We've, we've seen some of the Americans opt out. Who knows if Novak plays, you know, we just, the draws, it's not the French open draw either. We've got, there's going to be a few more soft spots in there. Yeah, so uh, you heard it here first. 